When a person living with dementia starts falling more, it's not clumsiness. These falls are neurological. Hi, I'm Chastity Robinson Wangi, and this is part of my dementia behavior series. Frequent falls don't usually show up early in dementia. They tend to show up later when the brain is losing its ability to judge space, depth, balance, and movement. And the way someone falls often reflects the type of dementia they're living with. Parkinson's dementia, like Lewy body dementia, you'll see shuffling, freezing, very narrow steps, and it often leads to forward falls. Frontal temporal dementia, FTD, you'll see impulsivity and poor insight, which often leads to sudden sideways falls. Alzheimer's disease, you'll see misjudgment of surfaces, depth confusion, which can then lead to backwards falls or missing the chair entirely. Vascular dementia, you'll often see uneven strength and altered step patterns, making the direction of the falls unpredictable. So when we start seeing more falls, it's usually a sign that the disease is progressing in the brain. And this is where families can feel scared and sometimes blame the caregiver or the care community. But falls in dementia are almost never happening because someone isn't being watched or someone's not watching over them. They're happening because the brain is losing the ability to protect the body. When we understand what's happening, we move more from accusation to collaboration. Let's approach this with knowledge and respond with compassion.